Hey brothers, it's TJ here, uh, Kids Outdoor Zone, KLZ World Headquarters here in Austin, Texas. And this is your September video blog for me. And uh, I just want to start off, first of all, thank you guys for all the text, the Facebook post, and the emails that you send me each and every month. It is such food for my soul to see what you guys are doing out there. Uh, you are on the front lines, and it is incredible the work that you're doing. Um, July with the baptisms and families choosing to be baptized by you guys through the KOZ program. Incredible, beautiful stuff what you're doing. And also you guys that are sending us emails and texts that are um, where you guys are struggling, where you need prayer, where you have things going on in your family, in your community, in your church, and allowing us to pray with you, for you, is a huge blessing for us. So don't hesitate to do that. Don't stop doing that. That is just, it, it is food for our souls. So thank you for that. Um, there's a subject that I want to touch on today that is, it is a touchy subject. It is one that... Uh, I'd rather avoid than than have to deal with, but we need to we need to go straight into it. We need to deal with it, and that is where um, you guys are having HTLs who are spending time with your boys and then just walking on you and walking on the boys. Um, several of you guys have talked to me about this, where you've had guys that have been committed and then they just walk. And uh, first of all, let me tell you that it's not about you. These guys are obviously dealing with stuff that is. Um, their their wounds of their own, their issues of their own that they're going to have to deal with. Um, some of the solutions I can I can offer up would be one is um, go to the boys and talk to them yourselves. Tell the boys at at, at a campfire talk, uh, you know, about how a guy leaves and that some of the guys are going to come and go and they're going to have men in their lives coming and going and it's just going to happen. And uh, so walk them through that as best you can yourself. Another really cool thing um, that we're seeing some of the guys that are having to leave, move, or have job changes, whatever it is, that are taking them out, are they're doing, they're taking their phones and they're doing videos. And then the leaders are playing them for the boys on the Saturday. Um, the guys are saying goodbye and that they love them and that they care about them. And it is beautiful. They're amazing. And, um, you know, some of the guys are just not going to come back. They're going to leave. They're going to. You're going to see them at the grocery store. They're going to say, "No, I'm not. I'm not coming back." It's going to happen. Let me tell you that right now. And and just you're going to have to just walk through it. Satan wants to take you out. So if there's things like that going on, just know that you know you're on. You're doing the hardest thing that we could possibly do. You're standing on the front lines. You're you're in the rescue line, brothers. You're doing good works, and Satan does not like it. He wants to take you out, and so he's going to throw everything he can at you. He's going to try all these little ploys to try and uh, take you off balance and, and uh, your wife, these other HTLs, your kids. Oh, my gosh, he'll use your kids um, to try and throw you off balance. But no, it ain't it. You know what? We already won. We already beat him. Jesus already uh won and and took this for us. So um so just dig in brothers know that what you're doing is beautiful and that we love you and we care about you. If there's anything at all, it's tj at kidsoutdoorzone.com. Shoot me an email, let me be a part of the victories and the struggles and the prayer times and the things that you need. Um we love you guys dearly. We care about you and we want to support you. So uh, keep in touch. Keep us uh, uh, in your prayers as well. And uh, we got a lot of work to do, guys. So all I got is regulators. Let's mount up.